So I recently got my first 3D printer, the Bamboo Lab P1S, and one of the first big projects I took on was building a display model of a Formula One car. I actually started working on this build before I saw the new F1 movie, but watching that, along with all the amazing F1 reels online, in this video, I'll take you through the full process, from finding the right model and preparing it in Blender, to slicing it in Bamboo Studio, printing with Rapid PLA+, and adding finishing touches like paint assembly. Whether you're new to 3D printing, a motorsport fan, or just want to make something awesome for your shelf, this tutorial has something for you. This model also had detachable front wings, just like real one. Let's get started. We're kicking off the build by choosing a high-quality 3D model of a Formula 1 car. For this project, I downloaded the model from CG Trader, which offers detailed and printable car models. Big shout out to the creator Jenka Turhan for designing this awesome model. The link to the original model is in the description below. Before downloading, make sure to check the license and ensure it's okay for 3D printing and modifications. Once you have the file, we're ready to bring it into Blender for cleanup. Just launch Blender, go to File, Open, and select the downloaded .blend file. Once loaded, you'll see the full F1 model laid out in the workspace. From here, you can inspect the geometry, make adjustments, or break the model into smaller printable parts. Use edit mode to separate components, rotate them, or reposition pieces as needed. It's time to clean it up. Many 3D models from the internet can have non-manifold edges, holes, or thin geometry, which can cause printing failures. To fix this, we'll use Blender's built-in 3D print toolbox add-on. First, enable the add-on by going to edit a preferences a add-ons, then search for 3D Print Toolbox and check the box. Once enabled, you'll find it in the right-hand panel of your viewport. Just press N to open the side panel and go to the 3D Print tab. With your model selected, click the Check All. Blender will analyze your model and show errors like Non-manifold edges Intersecting faces Overhangs Thin walls Sharp angles, these are all things that can cause issues when printing. To fix them, we will go on edit mode and click the non-manifolds button. Now we can see that the edge is highlighted and then can be fixed by using the grid fill tool for better results. For this Formula 1 car model, I'm using Rapid PLA Plus, a great choice for functional and detailed prints. Rapid PLA Plus offers better strength, surface finish, and temperature resistance compared to regular PLA. It's also less brittle and gives smoother layer bonding, perfect for intricate curves, spoilers, and mechanical style body lines. I'm using this with my Bamboo Lab P1S printer. With our model cleaned and exported from Blender, the next step is to import it into Bamboo Studio, the slicer software for Bamboo Lab printers. Launch Bamboo Studio and make sure your printer is selected, in this case, I'm using the Bamboo Lab P1S. Now, drag and drop your STL file or click File Import to bring your model into the workspace. If your Formula 1 car is split into multiple parts, like the chassis, tires, or rear wing, import them one by one. Bamboo Studio automatically separates them on the build plate, but you can reposition and rotate them as needed using the transform tools on the left panel. Make sure each part fits within the build volume of the P1S, and nothing overlaps. This sets the stage for slicing your model with the right print settings in the next step. You don't need to follow any step, as you can just download the Bamboo Studio file from the link in the description below. Once your F1 car parts are printed and cleaned up, it's time to prepare the surface for painting, and that starts with priming. Since we're working with PLA plus plastic, we'll use a plastic-compatible primer, not one made for metal. As I mistakenly used it, but you should be aware to not use it. Look for labels like Plastic Primer, Filler Primer, or Adhesion Promoter. Brands like Mr. Surfacer, Tomia, or Rust-Oleum Plastic Primer work great. 
Before priming, lightly sand the surface with 400 to 600 grit sandpaper to remove print lines or layer marks. Usually, two to three coats are enough to give you a smooth, paint-ready surface. Priming helps the paint stick better, gives a consistent finish, and fills small imperfections in your printed parts. Now that all the parts are printed, cleaned, and primed, it's time to bring your Formula One car to life by assembling the pieces. Super Glue, a fast, strong adhesive that works perfectly on PLA Plus parts. Take your time to align the parts correctly, especially aerodynamic elements like the wings and suspension arms, to get that sleek, race-ready finish. Once everything's glued and solid, your custom F1 car model is structurally complete. Now that your F1 car is fully assembled, it's time for the most exciting step. You can go for a classic Ferrari red, a stealthy matte black, a bright neon livery, or even replicate a real F1 team's design. The choice is yours, this is where your creativity takes the wheel. Use acrylic spray paint or airbrush for a smooth and even coat. Make sure to apply thin layers, allowing each one to dry before the next. Start with a base color, then add details like sponsor logos, racing stripes, or carbon fiber effects using paint markers or masking tape for clean lines. Once your paint job is complete and fully dry, you can seal it with a clear coat spray, matte, satin, or glossy, to protect the finish and give it that final polish. Your custom Formula One car is now ready for display. And that's how you can bring a custom Formula One car to life using your Bamboo Lab P1S and some creativity with Blender and Paint. If you want to print this exact model, the Bamboo Studio 0.3MF files will be available on Maker World, the link is in the description. And if you want to tweak the design yourself, the Blender project files are also linked below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more cool 3D printing builds. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next project.